I wouldn't go to mass like. Yeah. Um, a tattoo saying Christopher on my arm because my grandmother used to buy me the medals and with sports, you'd be taking them off for basketball and football, basketball and football into the bag. And I lost about four or five medals. Yeah. She hated tattoos. So I got a tattoo in Miami of St. Christopher's medal, brought it in and put it in there. So I used to put her to bed at night time. She was, she fell over my size 13 shoes there. <laughs> and she broke her hip and she'd fear trouble with her hips going on for the next 20 years. And she used to live with my mom. So when my dad left, we moved in with my nan who was actually across the road. Yeah. And the two of them kind of really raised us as kind of that vital part of your life. And um, I, we used to put her to bed and it was probably about a year gone where there was nothing, but I had a t-shirt on one night and I was kind of lifting her legs in. So you'd sit her in and then you'd spin her around. She said, what, what's that in your hand? And I said, ah, it's nothing then, it's nothing going, you're fine, get in there. And I go, it's bedtime, I get her out of water bottle and I'm trying to distract her. <laughs> Next thing she said, uh, is that a tattoo? I said, it is, yeah, it is. And I showed her, I picked it up, it says, St. Christopher's medal, do you know what I was losing all your chains? Looked at it. That's lovely now. That's lovely now, and off she went. There was no, there was no, there was no problem once I told her that it was kind of yeah, yeah, holy. for her, holy, and that she wouldn't have to be buying me yeah. any more chains. She brought St. Christopher's medals for all the, the grandkids. Mm. That was her thing. And, uh, but she bought me more than anybody else because I was the oldest of the grandchildren and playing the sport, there was many of them lost in the bag.